There. Okay. Did we miss it? Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold All on. Right. I'll, I'll extend the time here a little bit. Thank you. All right, ready, set, right. go. Say cheese. I'm already smiling. Cheese. Okay, fine. Cheese. How long did you set the time? Uh, oh, sorry. All right, one more time, one more time. Come on, we, we're, we're gonna get this. Okay. I'm setting it for seven and a half seconds. Okay, Here we go. last time. Boom. Let's do it. Here we go. This is the keeper. Yep. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I did not mean to hit you. I know, I know, you're going fast. Can we just keep doing this? Yeah, we, fine, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me see if it do took. It. I don't think it took. Well, no, I think it might have taken. Oh, I think we're good. Yeah. We could just one more? No, I'm done. On, Thank you, goodbye. Come on. I don't want. Come on. All right. Okay. Fine, go. Come on. Okay, great. I couldn't hold on to the grip. I, I'll do it one more time, all right? But this is ridiculous. There's so many pictures of us. We don't need any more pictures. You the world needs more pictures of us, Brandon. I don't think it does. Yes, it does. Fine. You know what? Take your picture. Just take All right, yourself. fine. Not... I can't take it like that when you're facing the di wrong direction. You're supposed to be facing that way. Look. Oh, fine. Be that way. Um. Mm-hmm. Hey everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. Oh, we love to tell you jokes that make you laugh. Well, For I mean, we do more than tell you jokes. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you call a frozen dog? I don't know. A popsicle. <laughs> you I do, but John, seriously. What do you call an alligator in a vest? A crocodile. No, what? No, an investigator? Oh, <laughs> no, I get it. That's funny. That's a really yeah, good one. Yeah. Thank you. No, but this show isn't all about telling people jokes. Well, I know we that. I know that. I know that. I just wanted to I just wanted to practice a little for my stand-up comedy act on Tuesday. What? Where is it? Well, at the one and only Cafe for Comedy Coffee and Curly Fries, stand up every Tuesday mid-morning. Oh. Haven't you ever heard of the Curly Fried Comedy and Coffee to go? Uh-uh. Laps and lattes. Mm -hmm. Muffins over monologues? Have you, have you seriously never heard of any of these events? Uh, no, but it sounds pretty cool. P pretty cool? Yeah. Pretty cool? <laughs> this is the event of the week for upcoming comedians. It's like the place to be. It's not just pretty cool. It's basically the most epically cool thing that's ever happened to a Tuesday since tacos. Oh, well, awesome. Good for you. Well, thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. It's, I'm sorry I'm so uptight. It's just that I'm, I'm wondering if... Even though it's a super awesome opportunity, if it would be even more awesome if I didn't do it. What? It's just, I, 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 I don't know how it's gonna go. What if they don't like me? What if they don't laugh? Brandon, oh, no ha ha's. Yeah, okay, well you never know how something's gonna turn out before you do it, you know? Well, when I eat a grilled cheese sandwich, Brandon, I know it's gonna feel like a thousand tiny dairy miracles melting in my mouth all at once mm, every time. Okay. I know that for sure. Yeah. But with stand-up comedy, I don't know. Oh yeah, well that's, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The worst? Mm hmm Where's your dream? That's right, this way. So paper bags, am I right? And everyone thought these puppies would never be in style. Oh, muffin, anyone? They're gluten full. <laughs> Who am I kidding? No one's even here. <laughs> oh, that's the worst you can imagine? That doesn't seem that bad. Whatever. All right, now answer this question. Think about it. What's the best that could happen? The best? Best is over here. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Jonathan. Oh wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. Hey, who here hates traffic? <laughs> I know, I know, it's like, move your cars faster on the road, I got places to be. 
<laughs> oh, hey, but what about paying taxes? Ooh, right? Right? Could those forms be any more complicated? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, if one more ad interrupts my streaming video, I'm going to be like... <laughs> oh, stop it. Hey, stop it. Thank you. My time's up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Especially you. <laughs> Thank you. I think that seems pretty doable. Maybe. No, I mean, maybe even if they don't throw flowers and even if you don't wear a suit, which I must admit is the least likely thing of your scenario, mm. it could still be good. Good. Good is like an insult to an artist. It, it, it either has to be great or it's worthless. Okay, yeah, but you're never going to be great if you don't start somewhere. So you're saying I should do it? Look, I'm saying you never know how it's going to turn out. So don't let your fear of the unknown be what stops you. Okay. 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 You're right. I'm going to do it. All right. You've inspired me. Ah, that's awesome. Uh, can I practice my jokes on you right now? Uh, that's Bible story time with Kellen. Well, hello. To my favorite co host. Hey. What you got for us today, Kellen? Today, we're going all the way to the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. After all the history in the Old Testament, and after Jesus came and rescued people and made a way for us to have a relationship with God again, you can read Revelation to find the answer to this next question. What happens next? Oh, I can't wait to find out. Well, you'll have to wait, because first, we're going to dive into some viewer mail. Wait, is viewer mail a thing? Is actual mail still a thing? Of course. I asked our viewers to describe the best place they could imagine, and these are their responses. Do you guys mind helping me read a few? Sure. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good throw. Yeah. Who wants to go first? Oh, me. Uh, this letter is from Ariel in Broken Bow, Nebraska. Nice. There you go. Uh, dear Kellen, I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Ariel. Yeah. The best place I can imagine would have lots of flowers because I love flowers. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I can almost picture it. Uh, when I was a little girl, there was this beautiful field of wildflowers down the street from our house. There were flowers of every color, blues and purples and yellows of every shade. Sometimes I would just lie down in the field and watch the clouds move in the sky for hours until my dad finally had to call me home for dinner. The best place I can imagine would have flowers as far as the eye could see, and they'd grow all year round. That's a place I'd like to see someday. Hmm. Wow. Paints a pretty picture, doesn't it? Sure does. Um, let's hear your letter. Oh, you bet. This one is from Javier from Claremore, Oklahoma. Hi, Javier. Let's see. Dear Kellen, I'm glad you asked about my imagination because imagining is what I do best. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest thing I can imagine is an amusement park with the tallest rides in the world. I'm talking about a roller coaster as high as the sky. Can you imagine riding a roller coaster through the clouds and right by the sun? And it wouldn't be scary because the clouds are actually cotton candy. So you could scoop some up to eat every time you rode by. And the best part of Javier's world, that's what it'll be called, is that there are no lines. That would be awesome. That is awesome. I mean, I love roller coasters and that sounds wonderful. <laughs> hey, have you got a letter, Kellen? I sure do. This one is from Keith. He lives in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Ooh, it's kind of a tricky one. Oh. <clears throat> Dear Kellen, one of my favorite things to do 
is play video games with my friends. Every Friday night, my friends and I go to one of our houses or apartments or whatever, and we order pizza and we play video games. And I'm talking all kinds of video games, racing games, side scrollers, adventure games, open world builders, even classics like Pac-Man and Pong. It's my favorite place to be, surrounded by people I love, games I like to play, and food I like to eat. What could be better than that? Wow, who knew mail could be so much fun? I'm gonna go have to check my mailbox later. No kidding. It's really cool to see into other people's imaginations. What did that have to do with the book of Revelation? I'm glad you asked. The book of Revelation was written by one of Jesus' disciples named John. It was written long after Jesus died and rose again, when John was an old man. God gave John a vision of the future, so John wrote it all down. No kidding. So what's heaven going to be like? Is it going to be like what we read in these letters? Yeah. Will there be flowers and roller coasters? Uh, and pizza? Oh, please tell me there will be pizza in heaven. Um, I have a confession to make. I don't really have all the answers to your questions. God only gave John a glimpse into the future. He didn't fill in every single detail, but maybe if you close your eyes and listen to what John wrote, you'll be able to picture a little bit of it. In his vision, John saw a new heaven and a new earth, and he heard a voice. The voice said, look, God now makes his home with the people. He will live with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, and there will be no more sadness. There will be no more crying or pain. Things are no longer the way they used to be. And John saw God himself sitting on a great white throne. And God said, I am making everything new. Wow. Yeah, that's better than pizza. Huh. Way better. No more sadness, no more pain. Everything that's old will be made new. Can you even imagine? I really can't. Yeah, it's like, it's like it's better than I can even imagine. Exactly. Even though we don't know every single detail about the future or about heaven, we do know that our amazing, creative, powerful, and loving God has a plan that will blow our mind. Oh man, we have got a lot to look forward to. No doubt. Thanks, Kellen. Yes, indeed. Keep in touch, fellas. Hey, I'll send you a letter. <laughs> ah, now where do I keep my stamps? I don't know. Okay. Reveal the question. Ah, oh, what do you think heaven will be like? Ooh. Yeah, do you imagine lots of clouds, harps, streets of gold? Will there be pizza involved? Talk about it together. What do you think heaven will be like? And maybe it'll be like going to my stand-up routine. Do you think there's some comedy in heaven? If you're gonna be there, there will have to be. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Wait, were you being nice or mean just then? We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. See ya. What's black and white and red all over? Sunburn penguin! <laughs> this is my mom waking me up when I'm late for school. All right, here we go. Wake up, you're late for school! <laughs> All right, you know what my favorite breakfast cereal is? Any cereal! All right, here we go. How about this one? I got a better one for you, are you right? Um, one fish, two fish. <laughs> <laughs> Your love
Thanks for tuning in to Centerpoint Kids today. I'm so glad you joined us. And you know what I love? I love that we can be a part of God's big story. I love that God had enough love for us that he would invite us into that story. From the beginning when he created the universe all the way to the end of time. So kids, let's review the July memory verse one more time. Let's all do it together. It's Ephesians 2, 8. So let's read it together. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. And that's Ephesians 2, 8. It's true. Following Jesus will turn out better than you can imagine. We can live with joy and confidence, knowing that God's plan is good. Memory verses like this one help us learn about God's truth and remember his truth. And I hope you have been participating in our memory verse challenge this month. It's awesome. Six verses in July. Wow, I hope you guys have been keeping up. For each verse you've learned, your name has been entered in our awesome grand prize drawing, which will take place on Sunday, August 2nd, which means you have this week to memorize any verses that you haven't learned already. Get your parents to film you doing them and have them upload them onto our Centerpoint Kids Facebook page. And we have some cool pins that we'll send out to you for each verse that you memorize. And we hope you're having fun with our CP Kids Summer Family Experience. We've had five episodes already, and it's fun for the whole family. Now, if you've missed the episodes, that's okay. They're going to be available all summer long on our YouTube channel, CP Kids. So go check it out and subscribe. If you need more information, just head to our website, and search CP Kids. And this week's focus clue is live. Parents, as we continue to meet virtually at home through July, a great way to stay connected to CP Kids is through our private Facebook page. Simply search Centerpoint Kids and request to join. All right. So have a great week and be sure to check back on 
Wednesday for our last summer family experience. Have a great week. So long. Bye.